Hello YouTube, this is Dark on 633 and today I'm bringing a review of the Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja Deluxe Goton Nin Shuriken. Now this is the Shuriken used by the Nin Ninjas as their standard method of attack. And what's cool about the Shuriken is that it's actually got five different elements associated with the Shuriken. As you turn the dial, it's going to go to different ones. As of right now, if I remember correctly, this is actually the Earth Shuriken. Here's the wood. Here's the water. Here's the fire. And here is, no, actually, no, this is earth. So it actually goes like this. Here's fire, water, wood, metal, and earth. So there's the five different elements associated with the shuriken. Now, before we go on to the electronics, we're going to take a quick look at the box. Now, the box is a very compact design box, since the only thing it does contain, obviously, is the shuriken. So it's understandable. And I think it's a pretty decent box for it. Shows that it's got the five different elements in the different kanjis associated with it. And it can be used with the, either with the buckle or with the Ichibanto. So anyways, we're going to take out the pull tab here since unfortunately, once again, this is the only way to keep the batteries intact. So here we go. Take out the pull tab. And then we'll go cycle through the sound. So here's fire. So here we go. We go to water. Now, what was used in the show, at least as of this point, the different elements used in the show was that fire was used to create... The, it's pretty much the typical thing with fire, so it summons fire outside of the Chibanto and so on and attacks. Water did the same thing, it summoned like water droplets from here and there and all that. What if it correctly created a giant windstorm filled with, like, pieces of tr wood and uh, trees and leaves? And metal... Originally, just some of the giant pot that it slammed onto people's heads, which was really strange. And for correctly, it actually created some kind of metal wall or something. I don't remember exactly. And then earth is the typical like creating earth shakes and um, able to topple over monsters and so on. Now, obviously, since this is a deluxe shuriken, it can activate with the Ichibanto in the normal sequence. Here we go. Turn it on. And since this is a regular attack one. There's two ways you can actually use it with the Ichibanto. One is just attaching it like normal, so here we go. And then spinning it. Sorry, I'm gonna quickly uh, go back to it, so here we go. And then you can activate the sounds associated with it. And it goes in the sequence here, as you can see. Now you can uh, turn it. But what's cool is that when you put it onto the Shuriken, I mean the Ichibanto, it actually locks into place. So in order to activate the different sounds, you're going to have to detach it and then change it here, and then reattach it. Then we go into the next sound. The wood. So as you can see, to activate the normal type of way of attacking, you just spin this once and then it'll activate it on its own. So you don't even need to press the button or anything, but just to show it can work in the sequence. So now we'll go on to metal. And then we'll go on to Earth. And that's pretty much it on the normal way of using on it. Now technically you can use it with the finisher attack, so let's just quickly get through it.
Now, it doesn't activate really any new sounds on the Ichibanda, which is a shame, since a lot of the shurikens do have a little bit of, uh... Uh, what's it called? Uh... They don't have as much functionality as people expected, and even I'm kind of... Just kind of bummed out how limited sometimes these are. But I think the shurikin does look really nice, and I really enjoy that it still works with the Ichibanda, even if it's pretty limited, so just taking it off now. And now I'm just going to go and uh, talk about my final thoughts on it. Now, I definitely think this shuriken is definitely not something for everyone since it doesn't have any lights, even though it is a deluxe shuriken. And obviously it does not have the little flat piece to attach with the mecha. So if you just attach it with the mecha, it'll just attach like on top and it won't really do anything. So it is a bit low on the functionality department, but I still think this is a really nice shuriken, especially with the price which is around no more than like 8 to $15 before shipping. But obviously since it was a combined with Ami Ami order, it really isn't that bad. I still think it's still worth it for Ninja fans, even if it is a bit on the little functionality side. And hopefully there might be some kind of toy coming down the line that you could probably use the shurikens in other ways since, yeah, as you can see the shurikens have quite limited functionality, but I still think they're really nice. I still think they do a little more than the Goandra ones, even if they had the, sorry, the Goandra engine souls, even though they had the associated engines voices in it. But I still think this is nice Swirlflow pickup, even if it's a bit on the limited side. Anyways, please comment and subscribe, check out Hirotaku, and also check me out under Twitter, under Dark on 633 And please check down the channels down below as well, and I'll see you on YouTube. Bye.